What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Math Tutorials 14. All right, guys. So today we have a brand new tutorial for you guys. Today I'm super excited, super pumped for this because again, Michael has agreed to work with me on this tutorial. So I'm super excited to actually push this out for you guys. So this is a save from device tutorial. Now, if you guys want to feel free and actually watch the previous tutorial Michael helped me made, which is uh, the save uh, save them blobs tutorial, go ahead and click on the link in the description below to actually go ahead and watch that video. So uh, I do actually recommend that you watch that video first before watching this video because he recommends it in the video. You know, it's a little bit easier to follow the style of the video. And also I think uh, some of the depends dependencies, excuse me, that you have to install in order to get this script running. Um, and he shows you actually how to do, he shows you how to actually install the dependencies in the previous video. So if you want to see how to install those dependencies, you have to, you have to actually check out that video. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a uh, intro to this video for myself, uh, you know, with me talking as I did last time. So uh, the best part about one of these tutorials by Michael is the fact that, um, you know, since he's a developer, he knows a lot, you know, of code a lot better than I do. So, um, you know, if you guys want me to troubleshoot anything, a lot of times on tutorials I get, hi, this isn't working, can you help me? I don't know what's going on. And sometimes I can answer it, sometimes I can't, sometimes I'll just say, Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe if you Google it, you'll, you'll figure it out. But, um, you know, now you can actually, instead of hearing it from Google, from, you know, the internet, now you can hear it from, you know, directly, I guess, uh, as you could say, directly from, you know, a person's mouth, um, you know, instead of the internet, now you can actually uh, talk to someone, you know, I guess, person to person about it rather than, you know, asking the internet or asking Google about whatever it is you're wondering about. Now you can ask a person and his, uh, his Twitter handle, I think is at razor best. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so yeah, so I'll leave his Twitter handle in the description and also he shouts himself out. So anyway, guys, that's basically it. I don't want to make this too long, but I just wanted to say, um, for all you guys that, uh, you know, watch my videos, thank you so much. That's pretty much it. Uh, please be sure to tune in for the next couple of videos that I make because I will be making a few more. And anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to let the video roll. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, catch you in the next video. This is David signing out. Peace. Hello again guys, it's David's friend Michael, and in the previous video I showed you how to use iNeil's wonderful script, Save Them Blobs. Now, if you remember, it was kind of hard to use. We had to first install a quick dependency, and then we had to figure out how to get our device's ECID and its hardware ID, and we'd have to put that in every time we run the script. Now, um, iNeil, um, I coded another great script um, that makes it so much easier called Save From Device. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to use that. Now, uh, if you haven't watched the Save Them Blobs video yet, um, please go back and do so um, because uh, it has some essential setup in it that I won't be covering in this video, such as how to install the uh, request module, among other things. Um, so, um, yeah, let's get started on Save From Device. So, Save From Device requires another module called Mobile Device. Um, this, is another, uh, this is another Python module that, um, but it's not, it's not the same as requests in that you can quickly install it with easy install, but instead you have to download it from a Git repository and install it like that. So, it's actually linked um, in the Save Them Blobs repository, so we can just click on its link. And so, uh, if you need this URL, it is https colon slash slash github.com slash mountainstorm slash mobile device. So, all we have to do to download it is we can just hit download zip. Now, it's in our downloads folder. Um, personally, I clean out my downloads folder frequently. So, I'm going to move it somewhere safer. Uh, for example, my documents folder. Now, due to a limitation of the mobile device setup script, uh, we will need to change this folder name 
from mobile device dash master to just mobile device. So now we have our folder all set up and we need to go into that folder in terminal. Um, to do so we type cd and then we can just drag and drop in that directory and it'll paste in its path for us so all we have to do is hit return. And now we're in that directory. And so now uh, as I mentioned before it has a setup script that we need to run. So in order to run that we type sudo to give ourselves root permissions on our computer and then Python to tell, that it's a py tell the system that's a Python script and to run it as such setup.py which is the name of the Python script and then we also need to tell that script to install. So once we just hit enter it'll prompt us for a password because we've typed in sudo and you just type in the password you use to log into OS 10. Once you uh, hit enter it'll install it all for you. Um, and so now that is successfully installed. Um, and that's all the special setup we need to do to use the um, uh, to use the save from device script. So we can just type CD and then we need to drag and drop back in the save uh, the save them blobs folder and just hit enter. So now that we're back in the save them blobs folder where the uh, faster script is, um, all we need to do um, we just need to plug in our device. Here I have my trusty iPhone 5S again. Um, again, my device is jailbroken, um, but yours doesn't have to be. This works on any device, um, jailbroken or not. So, uh, so now we can just type Python save from device.py and it'll automatically detect our device uh, you can see my iPhone 5S on iOS 8.1.1 and it asks if we want to save it and of course we do so we just hit yes and then enter and then it'll fetch uh, it'll gather all the information it needs from our uh, from your uh, from your device um, see so it gives you the ECID and its identifier and it saves it for you all outright now um, it says it's skipping this here because I actually still have that blob saved from the previous video um, in that folder but it saves it to your home folder slash dot shsh and then whatever the blob name is. Um, it also looks for it on the Cydia server and the iFaith server, um, but again, I don't believe either of those exist anymore, so it's not going to find anything. Um, now, uh, say, we, uh, say we wanted to overwrite this blob um, that it already saved, we can just run this again, python save from device.py, but then we can type dash dash overwrite, and it'll overwrite whatever it finds. So when you hit yes, you see it doesn't skip anything, it just saves it outright. Uh, we can, it has a few more commands that we can just chain um, if we want. Um, so uh, it'll, we can tell it to just overwrite from uh, Apple Cydia, uh, overwrite blobs that were saved from Apple Cydia or iFaith. Um, this also will submit blobs to the Cydia server, even though I don't believe it exists anymore. Um, and we can uh, skip checking Cydia or iFaith. We can also change which folder this saves in, which is really helpful if you want to save it somewhere else. Um, but uh, I, but that's it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just type, uh, you can just run the script again, uh, which by the way, I pasted that all in really fast by just hitting the up arrow key. That will just show you the most recently used command and set it all up for you to type it again. So let's see. I want to um, skip fetching from uh, Cydia uh, and I want to skip fetching from iFaith and I want to overwrite any blobs that were saved from Apple. And why don't we save this to my desktop? So, oh wait, sorry, I was typing in the wrong spot. Um, save der tilde, which goes to my home folder, slash desktop. We can run it, and it will abide by all those commands. If you see, uh, it requested from Apple, it uh, doesn't. Uh, it doesn't 
request any blobs from the Cydia server or the iFaith server. However, it does send those blobs to the Cydia server. Um, and if we go to my desktop, we can see that that SHSH blob was saved successfully. Uh, again, you can chain any of these commands together as many times as you want on either script. Um, so if you're just using normal save them blob script as well, um, you can use these commands just fine as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that's how you use um, uh, that's how you use save from device and save them blobs. I hope you guys found this very helpful. Um, yeah, good night. Thank you.